It's time for the How I'd Kick His Ass game. Um, do I have, where are my names? Here are my names. Is this the one? Is the one? Which is the one? These? In this game, we're going to present you with, uh, with uh, names of uh, various personalities in wrestling, other forms of entertainment, and uh, you, uh, oh, I'm just going to go down the list, actually. This is a different game. I got all my games. We got so many games and gimmicks here. Uh, so uh, tell me, if you had your chance to beat their ass, uh, how would you do it? Would you, would you go for the knee? Uh, would you choke them? Is there a particular part of their body you'd like to fuck up? Vince McMahon. Um, probably take them out in the woods and torture them. Um, I'd get like, like a, just like a can of ants or something. No, you know what? I probably no. Vince has been good to me, so I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do anything to him. Okay. He's always been good to me. I take that back. I'll save this one for the next guy. Ken Kennedy. Okay, this one here. I would take him out in the woods. Number one, I'd probably take toothpicks and shove them up underneath his fingernails. Then I would take take some ants, fire ants, dump them all over his body, let him bite him up really good. Then I would take some alcohol, pour all over his body, you know, t so he wouldn't get infected. You know, right. and then then I would probably, um, you know, if there was an ant like crawling around his eye or something, I would probably take my knife and like kind of dig it out a little bit, you know, while he was screaming. And then, um, and hopefully his wife would be watching. And then, you know, I'll get to her later. Um, then, uh, probably take some gas, pour the gas on him, and, like, actually start at his feet, warm his feet up a little bit. Right. Because, you know, sometimes it gets cold in the woods. Yeah. And then I would, you know, like... Because of what, what ants are left, you have to get rid of them, so you need to burn them burn off. Them. Yeah. You know, and then um, I would probably take bolt cutters, cut each finger off, um, and then cut his toes off. And then I would probably, I would probably stick a big round stick up his ass. And then, um, um, what else would I do? We could probably go on all day. We? We, yeah, we. Yeah, that, you just wrote saw number off. seven, by the way. Right? That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, let's move to Dave Meltzer. And then his wife. You know, I got. Okay. Meltzer. Yeah. I don't know him. He doesn't. I guess he thinks he knows the wrestling business, and he's never put on a pair of tights in his life. So go fuck yourself, Dave. Vince Russo. You liked Vince Russo. I like right? Vince, yeah. Um, okay, if you had to fuck up Eric Bischoff, how would you do it? I, the thing is, I, I I couldn't fuck up somebody I like. Oh, well, you like him then, then we'll skip him. Yeah, yeah. but you the know, I never had no problems with him. The Miz, he's just, he's just dumb, you know. Actually, no, he's pretty smart because, uh, you know, he started on MTV and, you know, he got... You know, he made a name for himself on MTV Reward, doing doing all that stuff, getting on all these things and making money. So he's he's pretty smart. But you know what? I would probably cut his throat out. Okay. You know. And yeah. Not Bill O'Reilly. Um. I couldn't answer that question. Comedian Dane Cook. Um. I just put him out of his misery. Shoot. Bin Laden. Fucking had to blow him up. How about these guys? <laughs> oh my god. A video. A video. Big Sexy. What's up, KV? Commentary's Big Sexy back again, represent the Bean. Bob Holly, my question to you is this. I remember a little show WWE put on called Tough Enough. You were on there. I remember watching you and you beat the crap out of Matt Capitelli. I was just curious why that happened. Did you realize? 30 seconds into your match with him, that only after a month of training he had more talent than you? Is that what it was? A little jealousy? I don't know, man. Very disappointing. Yeah, you fat bastard. 
Yeah, you fat bastard. He had more talent than me, of course. That's why I was in WWE for 15 years, and he never fucking made it, you dumbass. He said he was disappointed in you. Are you upset that your that Big Sexy was disappointed? I uh, hated that you were disappointed. <laughs> well, take the Capitale thing at least. Then go ahead. But uh, no, I just they got out there and just started making a mockery of the wrestling business, and you know, and it was uh, fun and games, and that's not the way it is. So, and I just showed him, hey, this is the way it is, and we're at wrestling, and you know, hey, he could have fought back if he wanted to, but I guess he too much of it, you know. He, I don't know. So I take what I give out. So if you give it back to me, there's more power to you. But you know, uh, if Matt Capitelli, like Matt Capitelli, like I said, had more talent than me, why why did he never make it in WWE? Huh? And I did. It's time for the how I'd kick his ass game. Um, do I have, where are my names? Here are my names. This the one. Is the one. Which is the one? These. In this game, we're going to present you with uh, with uh, names of uh, various personalities in wrestling, other forms of entertainment, and uh, you. Uh, oh, I'm just going to go down the list. Actually, this is a different game. I got all my games. We got so many games and gimmicks here. Uh, so, uh, tell me, if you had your chance to beat their ass, uh, how would you do it? Would you would you go for the knee? Uh, would you choke them? Is there a particular part of their body you'd like to fuck up? Vince McMahon. Um, probably take them out in the woods and torture them. Um, I'd get like, like a, just like a can of ants or something. No, you know what? I probably, no, Vince has been good to me, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do anything to him. Okay. He's always been good to me. I take that back. I'll save this one for the next guy. Ken Kennedy. Okay, this one here, I would take him out in the woods. Number one, I'd probably take toothpicks and shove them up underneath his fingernails. Then I would take, take some ants, fire ants, dump them all over his body, let him bite him up really good. Then I would take some alcohol, pour all over his body, you know, t so he wouldn't get infected. You know, and then, then I would probably, um, you know, if there was an ant like crawling around his eye or something, I would probably take my knife and like kind of dig it out a little bit, you know, while he was screaming. And then, um, and hopefully his wife would be watching. And then, you know, I'll get to her later. Um, and then, uh, probably take some gas, pour the gas on him, and, like, actually start at his feet. Warm his feet up a little bit. Right. Because, you know, sometimes it gets cold in the woods. Yeah. And then I would, you know, 